This video is brought to you by Express VPN. Click on the link given down below in the description and get three months free. Hey what's up guys, it's Banu here from AndroidRaw.com. This is a continuation of my previous video. In case you guys didn't check that out, I would strongly suggest you guys to go ahead and check it out. I have a link for that down below in the description. So in this video, basically we're going to be continuing the conversation about Apple's latest, Apple's Silicon Max. They have just unveiled three new models, the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro as well as the new Mac Mini. So we're going to go ahead and check them out on the Apple Store for the very first time. I haven't even checked them out yet the apple event finished like 10 minutes ago drop a comment down below and let me know which mac you want me to pick up so that i can make some videos for you guys as well and if you're new to my channel smash that subscribe button that's how you can support my channel right here on youtube as well so without wasting any more time let's get started with today's video All right, so here I am on Apple's website and we have a welcome message. Welcome to the future of Mac. Introducing the new MacBook Air 13 inch MacBook Pro as well as the new Mac Mini with the Apple M1 chip. You can watch the event from here. Again, I'll have a link for that down below in the description if you want to check it out. So we are here to see the capabilities of each of these devices. Here we have the new MacBook Air with the super thin sides here and up to 18 hours of battery life here on the new MacBook Air and uh, you can pick it up from here. Then we have the MacBook Pro 13 inch one uh, and that's having up to 20 hours of battery life. It has the touch bar and all of that. It's quite similar design to the uh, MacBook Pro that we had uh, in the previous generation with the Intel chip. And then we have the almighty Mac mini with the M1 chip. Again, starting at just 699, right? So we have these three options to pick from. So let me go into the Mac section. Let's go ahead and compare each of these models. So here in the store, when you go into the Mac section, we have the MacBook Air Pro and the Mac Mini with the new labels here. So here we have all three devices. So let's go ahead and see uh, and compare which one is the right one for you, right? So let's go ahead and compare directly on Apple's website. So I'm gonna select the MacBook Air with the M1 chip. I'm gonna select the MacBook Pro 13 inch with the M1 chip and then I'm gonna select the Mac Mini 2020 with the M1 chip as well. So these are the options that we are gonna get this time. The MacBook Air is gonna come in three colors silver space gray and gold and starting at just $9.99 and you're getting a hundred dollar discount if you're a student as well from apple and with the macbook pro you're getting the space gray color as well as the silver color and the mac mini just comes in silver at just $6.99 like i mentioned before uh, both of the notebooks uh, have a 13.3 inch retina display so that's pretty good look at the performance here with the 8 core chip that we have the m1 chip across the board we have the m1 chip uh, on all of these devices and up to 16 gigabytes of ram and up to 2 terabytes of storage on all of these devices as well uh, and the MacBook Air has Touch ID and uh, the MacBook Pro has the touch bar along with Touch ID as well. And here we have the computing performance here detailed, especially if you are doing heavy tasks this time, even though the machine has such a slim profile, it will be able to do such a big, um, it's, it's able to take up a lot more this time around. And uh, the base model, like I assumed, uh, comes with just eight gigabytes of RAM, but you can easily upgrade it to 16 gigabytes as well and the base storage is 256 gigabytes across the board here so right so we here we have uh, the cameras again still 720p um, even though they mentioned uh, an update to the camera on screen it seems like it's still the same camera maybe they're doing something better with the uh, image processing uh, with the photos and the video especially with facetime calls and all of that especially with this pandemic happening right now um, a 1080p camera would have been better hopefully with the 14 or 16 inch macbook pro next year we'll get that and we still get the backlit magic keyboard um, with the um, macbook Air as well as the macbook pro and you have you get the magic keyboard with numeric key a keypad as well as the magic mouse 2 or the magic trackpad 2 which are both sold separately so if you uh, want those you'll have to pick them up separately for the mac 
Mini. So you you have to think about all that cost for the Mac Mini because for the nine ninety nine price point of the MacBook Air, you're getting a keyboard, you're getting the trackpad. It's the complete experience that you get for nine ninety nine. But here for six ninety nine, you have to get the keyboard, you have to get the mouse or trackpad or both. In that case, you have to think about that cost as well. So. Um, yeah, that's about it for the main uh, differences. Then, then, it, then when we uh, have the battery life and all of that, things are different. So, if let's let's go ahead and see if you want to pick one up, what the process is like. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try to buy, let's say, the new MacBook Pro. Um, right, I'm really interested in this because uh, it has a similar design to the MacBook Pro uh, from the previous generation. Uh, and I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Apple might still be selling that uh, Intel based Mac as well. So let's go ahead and see if that is the case. So I can go ahead and yes, here we have the Intel based uh, Mac here as well with the Core i5 processor. Um, we have uh, two options here to pick from when it comes to 13 inch one and the 16 inch one obviously didn't get updated so uh it's still on just intel chips hopefully that'll get updated sometime uh, next week so, uh, so, sometime next year so let's go ahead and try to spec this out so i'm going to select the baseline m1 chip uh, macbook air that you can pick up for 9.99 here so here we have that uh, the specs are you you get eight gigabytes of RAM if you want a sixteen gigabyte Mac uh, if you want a sixteen gigabyte RAM upgrade that's gonna be extra two hundred dollars which you can add in if you want storage upgrades are also available a two terabyte storage upgrade is you're going to be a two terabyte storage upgrade is gonna be eight hundred dollars um, if you are into that you can do that from here as well some people were even doubtful whether you're getting the charger and the usb cable in the box and uh, let me confirm that for you right now yes you are getting the charging cable as well as the 61 watt usb type c power adapter with the macbook pro here and then again with the macbook air we are getting a 30 watt usb type c power adapter with a usb type c cable as well when you go to check out the macbook air this is the page that you get with all the specs and stuff still a two terabyte ssd upgrade for the macbook air is also 800 dollars just like the macbook pro so it's up to you if you want to do that and you can also on top of it uh, pick up apple care if you want so these are the three new macs that you can pick up right now so this is going to be the future of the mac with the m1 chip this is just the start here with these three models but uh, get ready because we're gonna get so many more from apple with um, mac os with the power of mac os big sir and with the power of the m1 chip we are in for a treat guys so let me know which model you prefer out of these three models i'm really excited to uh, hear I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say. Go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know. Uh, let's hang out down below in the comment section. And in case you guys didn't check out my previous video, I would strongly encourage you guys to go check that out as well. I'll have a link for them down below in the description. Well, guys, those are the new Macs. I hope you guys found this video useful. I don't want to keep this video too long. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Share this video if you thought there was something important or useful in this video. And if you have any video suggestions, go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know. You can follow me on social media. I'm at all the links are given down below in the description as always stay tuned to android.com for the latest from the tech world and until i see you guys in my next video this is bun signing out